ready to uh, resume on that and go down to 1.5. Underway. Under the window of inbound. Once you're established inbound, I'll keep you advised and see where his position's at. Roger that, thing. Starting out approach, Skyhawk 7230 Quebec, climbing through 2300 for 3500. Skyhawk 7230 Quebec, Marquette, departure rate of contact, Sacramento, Summer 3020. 3020, 30 Quebec. Hearing how tall those towers are? Yeah. Like 2200 feet or whatever? Yep. That's like the tallest structures in North America or something like oh, that. Oh, really? Yeah. Wow. I'm trying to see if I can ping it. <laughs> oh, top of climb, 1029. Yeah, for whatever reason, it says I'm connected to it, um, but I'm not getting any information from it. You're still getting GPS or no GPS? No GPS. Oh! Seemed to give me a dot a little bit ago, but now it's disappeared again. So, um, so the the Wi-Fi part is connecting, but it's hard to know. See if you can enter in port four thousand somewhere. It's on port four thousand that it can be All right, four zero zero zero. Howdy, thanks. Clears the RF to approach whatever You said it's port four thousand. Yeah. flying last week when they are all here, and uh, two of the days ended up being really bumpy. And it was weird, one of the days, like, there was a good haze. Right. So you think, oh, stable. Um, but the, the winds aloft were so high, Right. but every now and then they just come beating down. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, I'd be losing, like, 200 feet, or gaining 200 feet, or... Is that haze or is that actually clouds developing? Down here I'm seeing a little bit of almost a wisp of a cloud. Yeah, I mean it looked like there's some stuff earlier this morning. Skyhawk 425, contact approach 125.4. 125.4, 425. Skyhawk 30 Quebec, contact approach 125.1. 125.1, 30 Quebec, thanks every day. You too. Glad you're paying attention. Okay, I'll approach Skyhawk 7230 Quebec, level at 3500. 7230 Quebec, no caliper, stock out to 3019. 3019, 30 Quebec. Yeah, this is just a haze, just kind of stays right off there at about yeah. 7 miles or so. Whoever would have thought I would be sitting here surfing the web from a <laughs> 1971 <laughs> 118.1, we'll come for you to 1. 2 PCR, contact the guard, live with our 118.1. 118.1, 118.1. I got the huge solar panel farm down there. Oh yeah, right, right. Start to tower information, November 1655 Zulu. Wind 320 at 4. Visibility 10. That's all I needed. Oh! Oh, now it's working. Golf, uh, request flight forward. Are you ready? What'd you do? I don't know. Not traffic. Another six golf, no caliber. So what's your uh, type aircraft in location? Oh yeah, I got the GPS and everything. Uh, one, yeah. Seven, well, two, above what the hell? <laughs> Maybe it's still connected to your phone, or I don't know. Who knows? I don't know, I had that off. Yeah. That's pretty weird. Make your request with them. Cool. All right, so now you got GPS, you got traffic. Oh, I even got the attitude reference system. Oh, cool. All right, now that we're humming, now I can actually look out the window and <laughs> enjoy the flight here. 
not hearing anything on the jumpers away. There's jumpers away. Yep. Sure Right so I flew my powered paraglider once from Rancho Marietta down to uh, 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 Lake Hogan. Uh huh. 35 miles. That was my longest cross country on a, my powered paraglider. 35 miles. Yeah. Wow. How long did that take? A little over an hour. You know, I only do about 25. So it was a pretty long flight, actually. But it's fun flying the uh, flying the paraglider because you just uh, you know you're just sitting out there in the breeze. And that was United cutting across there. Okay. So is this Oakdale we're coming up on here? Yep. Yes, it is. For our handy dandy little map. <laughs> There's our little plane guy. Yep. Have you ever been to this uh, air museum? Uh, no, I don't think I ever actually have walked in there. So, so that's going to be good. Oh, here's a, I guess that's Oakdale Airport over there. Yeah. Is that a dirt strip or is... Nope. Okay, this is paved. Right. It's, it's almost the same color as the dirt from up here. Um, so apparently their indoor museum is closed right now, but all the outdoor display stuff is still available. Are you seeing it? I was like, eh, that's maybe what I want to see it here. Right, right. They've got a B-52 over there. Not much of our stuff. Sorry, sir, Freezer, Quebec, traffic, 11 o'clock, and 4 miles, and we're at 4,000 at 7,000. Freezer, Quebec, looking for traffic. 39, Bravo traffic, 5 miles northwest, south, eastbound, lands, castle, lake, 7,000, 3,000, south. Okay. Uh, 7 2 3 0, Quebec, good afternoon, Castle Tower, entering Wake Base, runway 3 1, and report 3 miles out. Wake Base, 3 1, report 3 miles out, 3 0, Quebec. There you go. Woo! <laughs> God, I was thinking he couldn't hear you. Uh, I think he was just busy and. Alright. Cockpit is secured, you got your hands on all that stuff. Yes, set for both, gifters full ridged. Yes, undercarriage is attached, looks full rich, propellers attached, safe built and shoulder straps are on. Lights are as we want them. I'll queue up ground control for you. Thank you. Castle Tower, Skyhawk 7230, Quebec, reporting three mile base. Skyhawk uh, 30, Quebec, not in sight, runway 31, clear to land, report turning final. Report turning final, 30, Quebec. Bonanza 5, uh, Bravo Whiskey, runway 31, clear for takeoff. Clear for takeoff, 135, Bravo Whiskey. Everything I read about this said, oh, it's... 30, Quebec, traffic, Bonanza, departing the runway. 30, Quebec, that's traffic. Um, everything I read about this... Bonanza 5, Bravo Whiskey, confirm you said you wanted the right cross. Confirm, right. That, uh, oh yeah, quiet little airport. Yeah. <laughs> you know, nothing going on. Castle Towers, Skyhawk 7230, Quebec, turning final, runway 31. 7, uh, correction, 7, uh, 30, Quebec, weather, have you in sight, thank you. Yeah, 190. 30, 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. I kept getting distracted, I'm like, okay, Brian, you better land this plane and yeah. stop paying attention to all that yeah. stuff. Hey, pitching for speed, throttles altitude. Destination on airfield. 
Uh, head to the museum, three zero back. Had a nice visit at Castle Atwater Museum. Um, saw a lot of really cool planes. Everything from uh, being greeted on the ramp by the B-25's uh, roaring radials. Um, a long look at the SR-71 they have parked out front. Um, Air Force One, which is an old DC-9. It's amazing how small it is compared to the Air Force Ones now. It's even smaller than the 737. Um, a great old DC-3. Um, and of course a bunch of B-52's. Uh, the, in the inside of the museum is closed down right now, but the, uh, all the static displays are still out there and it was a, a great time to go see. Speed's alive, engine gauge is active in the green. Rotate at 60. Climb out at 80. Yeah. I'm keeping the nose down low so I can keep, the, keep an eye on the runway just because it's so long. It was there, I helped you out. <laughs> yeah. A left left there. Yeah. A lot of bugs on the way down. Yeah. Well, it was, uh, it, uh we went through a cloud because all of a sudden it was just like, you know, yeah. really fast. We just picked a bunch right there. There's some, I could see some were bees. Oh, okay. So it was like we went through a little swarm of bees or something. <laughs> and what all these? When we were kind of maneuvering around the, uh, oh, okay. the class D. Yeah. All right, up in the smooth stuff. Yep. You just, you feel that crossover. It's just so yeah. nice. Always gives you one last little. Ooh. Yeah. <laughs> Stay out. So it's basically one way heading to Sacramento. Yeah, it's uh, <laughs> yeah. The bearing is what three fourteen, right? Yeah. yeah. Or three thirteen. <laughs> I wonder if three ones actually had. It's probably at three fourteen. Yeah. Can I give it a feel for a little bit? Sure. All right. Your controls. I got it. I got the plane. Your exhaust gas temperature move much. It, it's very slow. It lags. I, I tend to do it by this, and then you'll feel the rumble of the engine, yeah. and I go back four or five. Yeah. Um, and I'll look over there later and see. That's right. <laughs> yeah. Okay, I'll approach Skyhawk seven two three zero Quebec at four thousand five hundred feet, about ten miles northwest of Atwater, requesting flight following Sacramento. Sacramento. Sacramento Executive, Sierra Alpha, Charlie. Number 7230, Quebec, North Alpha, Flight 0323. 0323, 30, Quebec. Why would a bug go through all the work and climb up? Elevator 2, we're about a minute. You just oh. enjoy the view. Contact Percy, coming for the in the fire near fighter below, 13,000, one minute. They must get caught beneath the, uh, or caught in the up traps. So elevator two was just going up. Number zero three five. It's going to be full stop. It's a uh, Woodward Reservoir. Oh, okay, real tiny one, yeah. It's probably normally a puddle. Yeah. All the smog and the haze over there. Yeah. A feed lot down there. What's that? A feed lot. Yeah. Cows or something? Yeah. At least you can't smell them from up here. Yeah, not as bad as like Klinger or Harris Ranch, but uh, still large anyway. Yeah. That, um, that line right there, 
Yep. Uh, that's a uh, Dyke uh, it's or a uh, Riley. Oh, is this on, sir? Oh. Yeah, here on the map. Oh, okay. Three zero Quebec has the traffic. No, no pattern. Three zero Quebec, right? Thank you. They have you inside as well. Green expanse over here. Calling it out. Yeah. Eight o'clock. Eight yellow here. He's not eight o'clock though. He was. Oh, he's passing it. Yeah. That's at eight o'clock on there though. But. Oh yeah. All right. Where's the bowling ball? Seven two three zero Quebec, contact search one two five point two five, and advise them of the heading you're on. Good day. One two five two five three zero Quebec. Okay, I'll approach Skyhawk seven two three zero Quebec on a heading of two nine zero. Skyhawk seven two three zero Quebec, North Cal approach, resume on navigation and berth. You have whiskey. Resuming navigation and getting weather. Three zero Quebec. Runway 20 in use, landing and departing runway 20. Use caution for birds in the vicinity of the airport. Advise initial contact, you have information, whiskey. Sacramento executive information, whiskey. 2053 observation. Wind calm, 10 miles visibility, sky conditions clear. Temperature 23, 2.11, altimeter 3013. Visual approach, runway 20 in use, landing and departing runway. 3-0 Quebec has information, Whiskey. 3-0 Quebec, thanks. Attention all aircraft, hazardous weather information, Air Med Zulu for California and Nevada, available on high watch flight watch or flight service. Yeah, I'd say some of that hazardous weather is right over there. <laughs> yeah. Well, then, starting to build up there. I think that was the reason not to go to Tahoe today. Yep. I do want to fly there at some point. Yeah, there's the propane. Yep. Well, I want to say that's the med center. North Cal, Calvary 8697, Victor 6500. And then... Calvary 8697, Victor, North Cal approach, Sacramento transmitter 3013. 013. The airport just off to the left of the med center. But I yeah. could be wrong on that. Yeah, the, the airport is uh, a light skid mark out there, I think. It's usually in... Airport says 898 14 6 It's in dark area, the trees are too light area. Yeah. Southern C-98, North Cal approach. Thanks. Roger. That's in all our car activity, load at airport 1-3000. One of those two. <laughs> Actually, fly fly true VFR and some you know, yeah. no VORs, no. <laughs> yeah. Someone above us? I uh, just checking. He just said attention all aircraft jumping activity at Lodi. We're right about over Lodi right oh. now. Oh, I see. <laughs> Looking for shoots? Yeah, just making sure the jump plane isn't up there. Oh, there's a jump. No, oh, no, that's southwest. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, that'd be a wild jump point. Well, we are like right smack over the airport now, so. They told us to resume, so. Um, 